Good morning, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to Vanessa's Van Life Journey. How are you guys doing today? I am here today. I spent the night on BLM land in Pahrump, Nevada. Uh, it was 76 degrees last night. It's a little overcast. It did a little drizzle of rain this morning. I wish it would have actually rained, rained, rain, like poured down raining. But it did a little drizzling rain this morning. And I am the only person on the BLM land that I could see. This is unusual. If you guys have ever come out to the BLM land in Pahrump, Nevada, you know cars be everywhere. But girl, I don't see no cars nowhere. I am the only nutty buddy out on the Pahrump land, the BLM land. And can y'all tell me uh, why is that? Where y'all at? Where y'all hanging out? What y'all doing, girl? So I'm about to drive down the road and go back into town and drive and hope I can see a rattlesnake. Because I think that's why y'all not down here. Because the rattlesnakes and the scorpions and the tarantulas are out. And y'all don't want to run into none of them. <laughs> I don't either. But as you can see, they not out here. And it's cool, y'all. It's cool. So anyway, I am going to drive down the road and see if we could see anybody else on this BLM land. I doubt it very seriously because I'm looking all the way down there and I don't see no cars. So I hope I can spot a, a rattlesnake or a tarantula from far away when I'm driving so I can film it for y'all. But other than that, I don't want to run into one. But I don't know why I'm the only one out here. But y'all, it feels good. So if you happen to be in Pahrump and you just need somewhere to spend the night at overnight, you guys, y'all can come to the BLM land and uh, just park anywhere. Girl, you can park anywhere because ain't nobody else out here. You could have your parking spot anywhere you want to. Free to just sleep and camp out overnight and then get up and leave in the next morning like I'm about to do. So let me see what time it is. I know it's later than I thought it was. It's probably going to be past 10, past 12. So anyway, y'all, let me see what I'm going to do today. So it's 11.35. It's 11.35. This is just a ride down memory lane. I stayed out here in Pahrump last year, October to, I think, uh, close to February. I think I stayed out here from October to February. Whenever the RTR was, I left a few days before the RTR so, yeah, I stayed out here for almost two months, I think. Uh, maybe more than two months, y'all. I don't know. When is the RTR, y'all? Whenever the RTR was, I left a few days before then. But anyway, y'all, let's get and ride down this road. I wish this window would roll down. Maybe it will roll down for me today. Let's see. Let me see if I can get it. To roll... Roll, roll, roll your boat. Come on, roll down. I need to fix the window, y'all. I can't get it to roll down. Okay, let's ride down the road and see if we could see some cars down here, which I'm pretty sure we're not gonna see anybody else because I don't see nobody for miles, girl. Okay, y'all, this is how the BLM land looks in Pahrump. And if you see the light poles or the telephone poles, I don't know what it is, but you actually get better internet reception out here on the BLM land than you do in the town. The internet reception is awful in town, but out here by the desert, I get good reception. I uploaded two videos last night. 
with no problem. I want to see a rattlesnake, a tarantula, something moving that I could film from afar. So I'm gonna go slow, y'all, because I'm trying to catch a rattlesnake in his elements. The people didn't come out here so they could have their space. <laughs> the people letting the rattlesnakes have their space. And as you can see, I am the only nut that came out here but a lot of people come out here you guys in october i think the first week of october if you guys don't know you can come to pahrump nevada and get free dental and free glasses so a lot of nomads come to pahrump nevada in october the first week of october to get free glasses and free dental. So I think maybe, maybe, I'm gonna try to be out here in October, but I might actually end up being um, I might actually end up being in Texas in October. I don't know yet. But I did want to come out here and get some glasses and some dental, but who knows? By then, I might have some because I might go. A lot of people are telling me, see, let's let's see if we could spot a snake. Some people say a lot of the rattlesnakes hide in the little bushes. Uh, Y'all, look at this yellow thing that's tied on this tree right here. This was, I tied this here. This was where I parked it. And it looked like you can't get in there. But that's where I was parked at. I parked up in there last year. That's where I was in that spot. I tied that little thing around the tree. Try a uh old -oh. yellow ribbon around a old oak tree. So all you do is drive down the BLM land, flat places like this. You could go in, but you want to make sure. Let me show y'all. Open my door. You want to make sure the area like that is flat for you to go into. I'm gonna show y'all the difference. See, you could go anywhere back there. You can pull as far as you want back there and park. And so when it's flat like that, that's how you can go in. Now let me show you like some that you don't wanna drive in. See, that's flat. The ground is flat right there, so you could drive in there. But when the ground looks like this, when it's built up like that in a mound, you don't want to drive in there. When it's built up like that in a mound. is on the BLM land. I'm the only person out here. I think I'm gonna pull over somewhere and get me a thumbnail <laughs> with me being the only person out here, y'all. I should've took a picture before I left. I'm talking about there is nobody else out here. And to me, it's kind of cool. It's not as hot, girl. You can 
actually stay in your van out here. Now, uh, quartzite, desert right now, you still can encounter rattlesnakes and it's too hot. But if y'all got to live in the desert anyway, y'all want to live in the desert anyway, y'all might as well come somewhere where you're going to have some conveniences and it's going to be a little cooler. It's cooler here in Pahrump and it's less than a mile or two into town to the store, to Walmart. I love the BLM land in Pahrump. And you have good internet reception out here. You don't need Starlink out here. I did not use my Starlink last night, y'all, to upload any of my videos. I uploaded, I edited, and uploaded two videos. As a matter of fact, when I am out here, see, so you can go all up in there and go to the back and park, and you would go in right here at this section right here. It's flat. You'd go in where it's flat at. So actually, I can't upload anything in town. I have just come to the BLM land. You gonna get some reception. Y'all see all these phone lines or whatever kind of lines they are. And uh, uh, when I was here in October, uh, it still had snow on the mountains and it snowed when I was down here. So I am coming back to Pahrump. Y'all know this is where my mail service is. I am coming back to Pahrump this year sometime before the end of 2023. And I don't know if I'm gonna spend my birthday down here or what. I don't know if I'm gonna spend my birthday down here. So y'all, I'm just trying to uh, see if I see a rattlesnake, see if I see anybody else out here, which I knew that it wasn't gonna be nobody out here because I didn't see no more cars for miles. I didn't see anything. So look at that. That's a nice spot because you can go all the way back there. So anyway, y'all, I'm gonna drive down the road and I'll come back in a little bit. So you guys, if you come out to the BLM land in Pahrump, any land over on the right side of the light post, you're not supposed to be there. Uh, that is not considered BLM land. It is privately owned, but I do see some people over there. But everything to the left of the light pole, depending on... Y'all, it feels good out here. So I stopped so I could get a thumbnail. Tips on BLM land in Pahrump, Nevada. Uh, if you want to be secluded by yourself, just find your spot where it don't look like you have a lot of room for other people to park. Like this space right here is pretty big. Somebody could park up front. Somebody could park right there. If you see a lot of little different fire pits areas and a lot of little pull off areas, it will probably have more people pulling in this site. 
but if you are somewhere and you want it to be by yourself and somebody comes along they don't park too close to you but it's too close for comfort you could just pack your stuff up and move somewhere else uh, I did that one day I was somewhere and I was by myself and then some people came they weren't too close to me but they came too close for comfort and they were playing music and I could hear the music. So girl, I just packed my stuff up and I went somewhere else. That's all you got to do it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. But this spot right here, I could tell that this is a spot where a lot of different people would congregate, but they wouldn't be too close to each other. Like somebody would be right there. Somebody would be over there. Somebody would be down there. So they wouldn't be too close to each other. But if you want to do, if you do want to be like in a vicinity of other people, you can come and just park. If you see a, a free spot, you could just park wherever you want to park it. You don't have to have ask permission. But if you want to ask somebody, you know, is it OK if I park by you? Because uh, some people, if you see them off to themselves, it's so much land out here that you don't have to park next to somebody. But if you do want to park next to somebody and you see somebody off to themselves, the polite thing to do would be to ask them, do you mind if I park in the area? Uh, but you don't have to, you to have to, you're not required to ask them, but it's just polite to ask them because they might want to be by themselves. If you wanted to be by yourself, you wouldn't want nobody coming all up in your space and in your face and cramping your style and making you have to pack up all your stuff and go somewhere else because they came there. Uh, when they could have just went parked anywhere. Their stuff is not set up. They could have went parked anywhere. So you may be infringing on someone else's privacy when you come into a campsite and you don't ask them if they mind having company. You may be infringing on their privacy because they may have wanted to be alone. So that's just a little tip. But anyway, I'm, gonna get, I'm almost close to the end of the road. And... Uh, when you get to the end of this road at the stop sign, you make a right and it's gonna take you right into town. Easily leave out the same way you came in. Sometimes there's multiple ways to leave out. And I'm gonna leave out on this road, uh, on the BLM land, you could go to your right or you can go to your left. Uh, I came in from the road to my right but I'm leaving out. See, the stop sign is just right there, you guys. So when I get to the end of this stop sign, I am going to make a right. And it's gonna take me right into town, y'all. The BLM land is so close to town. This is so cool. This feels good, you guys. This feels really, 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 really good. Like I say, people are parked to the right over there where the poles are and no one's supposed to be parked in that area. Um, but ain't nobody here to regulate it, I guess. They got a little travel trailer like mine. Okay, we got some little travel trailer, y'all. So I could pull my travel trailer if I wanted to come live out on some BLM land and you probably could stay past 14 days there's a 14 day regulation you have to move and this is a nice spot right here y'all because it's right by the road to go into town we're at the intersection of basin and so basin from town just come straight down basin uh and highly so when you're in town make a right on basin and at Basin and Highly, you will get to the BLM land. So, I'm just going to go all the way down here. And it's so easy and convenient, y'all. If I had to be somewhere on BLM land, I would want to be in Pahrump. Because Walmart is right here. Uh very 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 convenient very nomad friendly and a lot of privacy it's so much land you don't have to be around 
anyone else. So, let's go ease on down the road. Okay, you guys, that is it for my little drive down the memory lane of the BLM land. I hope this video helped you. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified each and every time I upload a new video. Look below the channel and or below the video and look for the subscribe button. If it is black or red, you are not subscribed to the channel, hit it once and it should turn white or light gray. And also hit the bell and hit all, and you will be notified each and every time I upload a new video. If you've never hit the all button and you're not getting notifications, that is why. Unsubscribe to the channel, hit the subscribe button and hit the bell and hit all, and you should start getting notifications. Also, if you wanna support the channel in any shape, form or fashion, all my information is down below in the description box. Just look below the video, click more twice, and you should see all of my information, uh, more of the down arrow, and all my information will appear. I will see you guys later. Y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.